Hey, what's up, everybody? Naughty Llama here, and I've got a gameplay of Seam of, Seam, of some TDM on the map Pyjo here. I already restarted this once because it sucked. I don't want to restart it again, but I already screwed up talking within the first like five seconds there. But uh, gave us some TDM on the map Pyjo. I'm using the Peacekeeper here, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, I'm using it the wrong way. I think it should be used in Assault Rifle. I'm using it with the Silencer, which isn't good because you're going to get outclassed by any other SMG guy you face on the other team. But, uh... Yeah, overall, I really dig the DLC. A lot of people, if you didn't buy it yet, I think it's worth it. I bought the season pass just because I had a gift card to GameStop for 50 bucks, and I was like, there's nothing else I really want to get. There's no games out, so uh, I'm just going to, uh, you know, buy the season pass. Oh, I did buy NHL 13. I had another gift card. I think the Best Buy or something from Christmas. That game is actually pretty fun. If you're a hockey fan, I would recommend getting it. I didn't play the last, I didn't play NHL 12. I didn't buy that or 11, I think. The last one I had was NHL 10, so... It's a little refreshed to me, like I buy Madden every year and the new one really it was kind of the same game with updated rosters and a little bit more physics, but the new NHL game is pretty cool, I definitely like it. Uh, we get him back into this gameplay, so this is, like I said, probably my second favorite map, it's really small, and then uh, it looks a lot like Grind, there's the two outsides in the middle, only the middle we have the two bridges there where people can snipe, sit there with assault rifles and stuff, so I like using Engineer, because you can see if somebody's putting Claymores or Bouncing Bettys on the thing, and then you can go over and kill them, so um... We get the sides here, which is a little more, uh, a little bigger, a little different than the, the map grind. You see, you get, you get the underwater sewer level. So there's two stories or two floors to this map, which is uh, pretty cool overall. I mean, I like the design of it. It's pretty, pretty bi big and small at the same time. It's got all these different places to hide and stuff, but overall, it's still a pretty tiny map. And then my kill streaks this game was using the UAV, the care package, and the lightning strike because I think I had a load star on it. I was getting like no, I, or I, I either couldn't get it or when I did get it, I would just get like two or three kills. It's kind of a waste to use in six v six game types unless you're playing ground war. That's really the only time I have any use for it. So uh, I was just using the care package, you know, if I can get anything. But uh, yeah, like I said, I was using the peacekeeper here and um, using it as an SMG and uh, I've got the silencer on it. And the latest update they put out for this game, I think it was this weekend actually when they put like the title update out for the revolution playlist they had an update to the all the submachine guns which uh, if you put the silencer on it it drops the damage at a distance off already so to the regular damage on an, on an smg is like 30 uh damage points um when you put a silencer on it it drops it down to like 15 or 20 range so unless you're up close your gun's going to do probably half the damage it normally would so they even uh made that a little lower now to uh, kind of Kind of nerfed the SMGs a little bit since they were the only guns people really use. So um, the Peacekeeper has a pretty good uh, damage ratio. The drawbacks for the good damage is it shoots extremely slow and it has a small clip. It has 30 bullets in a clip. So you, when you're going against another guy on the other team as an SMG, uh, chances are you're going to get outclassed by him or outgunned by him just because their gun's going to shoot faster and more bullets and stuff like that. Uh, so it's good if you're using an assault rifle, which I have some gameplays I'll show later. Uh, I was using fast mags on it just because the clip is so small. And then uh, I think long barrel or anything else, anything else you want to run besides the silencer is really good. You can use, uh, I was using the MMS scope, which is kind of cool, but the thing bounces around on me a little too much. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. I would rather have uh, long barrel so I can kill people at a distance or like FMJ, anything like that. Because the iron sights are really good on this gun. You don't need to run a red dot with it. So... Even if you want to run like fast mags, laser sight, because you can still run around and stuff with it, which uh, that's one of the things I really like about this gun. When you use an assault rifle, your mobility is pretty slow, so it takes longer to run around the map and everything like that. So I think that's one of the reasons, at least I like using SMGs, because I like running around. I can't sit in one spot on this game. It's too boring for me. So this gun is kind of like an assault rifle if you use it like that with those attachments, only it has full mobility, which is pretty cool. So... Um, I like the, I like using it like that, and then here I pick up a war machine, which this is actually the only war machine I, I like, or I guess the other one's called the death machine, I hate that one, you just run so slow with it, and it takes so long to get kills and stuff like that, and you gotta spin it up, but this one is really cheap, but I like using it just because it's a one hit kill, so it's like something from Modern Warfare 2 with the noob tubes, but overall I really like the DLC, I didn't play the zombies map yet, but um, I don't know, I, I don't care for zombies at all. I guess there's a new game type in it where you can play as a zombie, which would be cool, but whatever, I'm probably not going to play it. I think I've played zombies twice since I had this game for a total of, like, 15 minutes. Just not a fan of it, not a fan of the story either. I'd rather play multiplayer, but, um... Yeah, the only thing I don't like was there's a lot of... Like, the snow map was really cool. It's big, but I actually enjoy that map. I'm usually a fan of just smaller maps, but I like that one. But the camping this game is freaking ridiculous, dude. I had to stop playing the <laughs> Revolution uh, playlist only, so... If you want to play the new maps, they're in rotation for every other, every other game type. So if you play Kill Confirm, these are in it too. And they come up twice as often as the old maps, which is pretty cool. So um, that's what I've been doing because 
I don't know, TDM is super campy, like I said, everyone just wants to sit in one spot. Even when I was playing Mosh Pit, people would just not go after the objectives and sit in the spawn with snipers, which is uh, pretty boring. I don't know how people can play like that. I get bored if I'm sitting in the same spot too long. I have to constantly be moving around in this game, so um, you only get one bullet left in that thing, and I pick up a final kill with a war machine. Uh, but I'll be putting some more videos out on all the maps and stuff like that. Like I said, Grind is probably my favorite map. I think that map, I was like, when I saw the preview for it, I was like, this looks pretty stupid. They're going to put a skate park in a game that won't work, but I don't know. I just love that map. It's so tiny. It's so fun to play and stuff like that. So I've been rambling for whatever. I wanted to put a video up. This one probably wasn't the greatest, but uh, that's my uh, thoughts. Cool. All the maps are pretty cool, I think. If you're going to, if you didn't buy the DLC yet, I definitely think it's worth the 15 bucks or whatever the $50 for the season passes. So, well, that's it, guys. All right, bye.